Good evening. I'm Heather Myers in the San Diego 6 newsroom, and this is a look at San Diego 6 online. Well, did you feel it? The 4.7 magnitude quake that shook Southern California Sunday night about 8.30. Tonight we are seeing the minor damage the earthquake left behind in the Los Angeles area, and that's where the quake was centered. Bottles and jars hit the floor, even some windows popped. Now, fortunately, no injuries were reported, but the area has been hit by several aftershocks. The man who admitted to giving a San Diego State student drugs and throwing her body in the ocean after she appeared apparently overdosed, has been sentenced to five years in prison. 36-year-old John Stephen Burgess pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter earlier this month. He admits that he met 19-year-old Donna Joe on Craigslist. She was a San Diego State student at the time. Her family says they last saw Donna in June of 2007, riding away from her Orange County home on the back of Burgess's motorcycle. She escaped from a Michigan prison more than 30 years ago, started a brand new life, and then was rearrested. And now now it appears that 54-year-old Susan Lefevre will finally be released. When Lefevre was 19 years old, she was convicted on drug charges and sentenced to prison. 14 months later, she says she escaped, changed her name to Marie Walsh, got married and lived in Carmel Valley with her husband and three children. After being rearrested last year, a parole board has finally ruled that Lefevre can now be released from prison and she could arrive back in San Diego tomorrow. Well, taking a look at your weather, that May gray, it's sticking around the coastline a little bit. Temperatures along the beaches are in the 60s, a little bit warmer inland. And in some locations inland, it's well into the 80s. Spots like El Cajon and Ramona, 90s, the hot spot on the map at Campo. And uh, Imperial Beach is 65 right now. Now, tomorrow in the mountains, there's a chance for an isolated thunderstorm. Meteorologist Aloha Taylor will have more on that. And also, what's ahead for the rest of the week in your forecast coming up tonight on San Diego 6 News, tonight at 10. Well, here's what we are working on tonight for San Diego 6 News at 10. The special election is tomorrow in San Diego County. Find out how much this is costing the county to hold this election and why some say very few people will show up to the polls. Plus, robocalls, those relentless telemarketers calling all hours of the day and night, what you need to do to hang up on them for good. And parents in the Poway Unified School District are in an uproar tonight, angry that the brand new Del Norte High School has decided to not allow sophomores to to attend the school due to low interest. Hear their plan to get the district to reconsider. But before we go, we want to leave you with this, the video of the day out of Sacramento, a high-speed chase in Northern California over the weekend, and yet, of course, with the suspect in custody. Police say the woman hit another car and then took off from the scene. The chase reached speeds up to 100 miles per hour, spanned nearly 50 miles. Sheriff's officials laid down some spike strips that flattened the woman's tires, but she still kept on going. Finally, after an officer used the pit maneuver, they were able to get the suspect off the road. That's when they finally arrested her in a bathing suit. They think she might have been drinking. Well, join us tonight at 10 for San Diego 6 News. And then again for 11 at 11, all of the news and weather you need in just 11 minutes. We'll see you on TV tonight at 10.